let's have a look at question 3 in this video so we know that we have a fraction d of all new cars that are defective now defective cars cannot be identified each consumer is risk neutral and values a non-defective car at six thousand dollars new cars sell for four thousand dollars each and used cars sell for a thousand dollars what's gonna be this uh, ratio this d so let's write the data down real quick we have the value of a non-defective car which is six thousand dollars we have the price of a new car which is equal to four thousand dollars and the price of a used car which is equal to a thousand dollars now let's keep in mind that we have two types of cars we have used cars and we have new cars now both of them could be defective and could be non-defective so defective non-defective and here we also can have defective and non-defective cars let's work with the used cars first so let's assume that the consumers would buy a non-defective used car let's see if that makes sense a non-defective used car has a value of six thousand dollars by the consumers six thousand dollars they only sell they only sell for a thousand dollars now obviously this is not a good deal for the sellers they're not charging as much as they could so the sellers have no incentive to sell a non-defective car that is used meaning that for sure the only way that a seller is going to put a used car on the market is going to be the bad ones the defective ones and they would sell for the price of a thousand dollars since consumers know that there's no way to put a non-defective a good car as a used car on sale they expect that the defective uh, they expect that the used cars on the market are going to be defective so the price that they're paying is also the way they value it the price is going to equal to the value for a defective car meaning that the price of a thousand is the value of a defective car and that matters because we need this value of a defective car to solve on i hope this makes sense now we know the value of a defective car and we know that the new cars also have this probability of being defective and non-defective we also know that the price for a new car is equal to four thousand dollars meaning that if consumers are paying the four thousand dollars what are they paying for they're not paying only for non-defective cars because we know there is a risk of having defective bad cars so consumers take this risk into account and how do they do that well they take into account they take it into account by computing the expected value of a new car they know that the expected value is going to be equal to the value of a non-defective car times the probability of that and the probability is the same as proportion so if the proportion of defective car is d the proportion of non-defective car is the opposite one minus d plus the probability of having a defective car which is going to be the value of a defective car times the proportion of a defective car i hope this makes sense now we can actually solve the math here the expected value of a new car must be four thousand dollars because that's the market price consumers cannot change the market price they have to adapt to the market by taking into account what probability they allow for having defective cars so if we solve it what do we have we have the value of a non-defective car which is six thousand times one minus d we're looking for d the value of a defective car we found out to be a thousand dollars so it's a thousand times d is equal to four thousand dollars which is the price now let's solve the math here let's open the brackets and see what we get six thousand times one minus d that's six thousand minus six thousand d plus a thousand d equals to four thousand um well let's let's do it over here six thousand minus six thousand d plus a thousand d that's equal to minus five thousand d is equal to four thousand now let's change places uh, take the numbers on one side so let's take 4000 over here and let's take this term on the other side 6000 minus 4000 that's equal to 2000 let me change colors real quick that's equal to 2000 and that's going to be equal to 5000d now what's going to be d the actual the actual proportion of defect of defective car that's 2000 divided by 5000 which is the same as 2 divided by 5 0 0.4 so 40 percent of cars must be defective now what does that mean if you go back to the question let me zoom out to have the big picture what did we just do 
we saw the proportion that the consumers allow, the probability that the consumers accept for defective cars to be in the market so that they are willing to pay the $4,000 for a new car. Because they know they are not going to pay the 1000 they have no chance of getting a non-defective car there since we saw that the only way for them to get uh, a used car is to be defective, they're going to be buying the worst that they can buy and they don't want that. So the only way for them to buy this new car is to take into account the risk of having a defective car. And from there on, it's just math. Hope this makes sense and we are done.